This is another project we've been getting ready to get into. Uh, we actually started into it this winter. Uh, we're going to get a hog and uh, do uh, kind of rechip our chips uh, instead of uh, oh just for mulch. So uh, we bought us a hog, used hog, <clears throat> well barely used, and then we're going to fix that sucker up and we're going to put it in here and uh, kind of redo this rigged up situation we got going on here. No experienced sawmiller, so I can't. Uh, if y'all got a lot of questions for me, you'll have to ask somebody else and not me. But uh, this is how a chipper works. There's uh, you got a trough that you take in, say like pulpwood there or waste off the sawmill. All the waste ends up going down this trough and right through this chipper. And uh, it's got a wheel, it's like a disc in there, and it's got like real sharp knives that comes around. It's just like what's on the back of a Splenda truck, except it's a lot bigger. End up with these long pin chips. Let me make sure, I don't think my old camera. So you end up with these long pin chips that, uh, if you can see, see that's kind of what you end up with. Now a lot of people has a screen and then they had they bring their fines back and rechip them. Well, we, we took away with all that extra moving parts and stuff. And uh, uh, it's a long story that I'm not going to get into. We kind of rigged all this mess up because it was temporary. That's why it looks so crappy. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a hog that when you drop off of this chain, which used to drop in the shaker screen, it's going to drop right through the hog, poop out the bottom of the hog as finished product. And then it's going to go up and it's going to stack it up there. Uh, as a finished product. Now, yesterday, me and Scotty, we started in on this uh, because, uh, well, it's a long story short, we wasn't going to do the project. Project was off for a little bit. Well, then we finally did some finagling around and we figured out how we could get the project done. So basically, two, two days ago, Keezer told me, get to work. He said, I figured out how to make it work. So he said, uh, get to putting this thing in. So I spent, uh, we've been rained out forever because it's freaking monsoon season here in Indiana for some reason. But uh, I've been, uh, it's that El Camino weather deal going on there in Mexico. But it's, uh, so third, uh, Friday, I jumped on the pewter and the tape measure and uh, started doing some finagling right quick to make sure all our slides and stuff will work out down there and where exactly the hog needs to fit as far as our uh, framework and all that bull mess. And then yesterday, which was Saturday, me and old Studi, we come up here and we cut out all this catwalk. There was catwalk come up to here. Well, basically to there. We had to change all that catwalk and move it back there. And this is an extra section of catwalk we put in Saturday. If you back up, you can see it. So we had to make us a little jog around this doodad because this chain, uh, start tomorrow and the next day, we're gonna take this chain, go on, install it here, install the hog, and then there's gonna be a big hole left over here. And uh, in this hole we got left over here, we're gonna take down this big, ugly eyesore conglomeration we got going on here. And we're gonna dump the stuff that's going to that machine over there. We're gonna dump it in our own cyclone right here above the chips. And it's gonna be dumping out pure hoggins. And then this machine is gonna be dumping out uh, pre-sized chips with finished hoggins. You know what I mean? Uh, that deal here and it's going to mix it here on this auger so our auger is going to work like a mixing auger you know so uh, all our hoggins now we do a lot of moving around and sawdust and hoggins and stuff we do a lot of wasting stuff here because of over the years we've had to change the way we do things off and on uh as sawmillers in our area has got to stay flexible and uh through that flexibility you end up rigging stuff together sometimes but you don't like rigging stuff you like doing stuff that's good and nice so what we're going to do is we're gonna uh, quit spitting hoggins over there from the hog that's down there. You see we're at nine? No, not down there. Way down there in the bottom, there's a hog that off bears or pallet hopper, a pallet uh, component operation, whatever you'd call it. I don't know how to make fancy. It's damn cut freaking pallet blanks there. Okay, so what the waste that goes down there goes into a hog that's down below. You can't see it right below my finger, but up through a pipe. It sucks it up through, you can bear it. You can't see it with the way my light is. But it comes up the bottom of the hog down there and goes through that pipe, it goes over, turns and runs all the way down through that courtyard and ends up up there. Well, that's the sawdust pile over there and we're dumping hoggins down there. So we need the hoggins 
to dump here. And from the mill, from the pallet room, and everything needs to dump here. So then what we got is we got all these little little saws and stuff in this room down here that does little 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 work, you know. And you gotta suck all the little fine dust off them. So we're gonna take that and rig that to where it draws all the dust from this room and takes it over there and spits it with all the rest of the dust that's already over there. All the hoggins and stuff is gonna end up right here for making malts later. So uh, that's that that's that wrapped up long story. I'm trying to make a long story short. Then that is gonna be sitting here, then up there, which the center line ends up right in posts. So we gotta tweak it just a hair. But that's gonna dump up there by tomorrow evening and leaving that hole open. And then hopefully by Tuesday evening, we'll have our pieces in and we'll have the uh, hog installed. And then once the hog gets installed, we'll put this slide right over top of the hog to bypass it till we get our electrics hooked up. And that'll simplify. We got a lot of weird electrics going on here and that'll simplify everything. Put it in one location and uh, run our leads up there like it's supposed to be to feed everything properly. And then when we get done, everything will look nice and clean. We'll de redo the rest of the catwalk up there and uh, repaint everything. And uh, everything will look good. But step one of the project is to move this over, get her hog in line, and get her hog up and operational from the mill. Then step two and three will have to work together. That would be taking the hoggins from, we're getting another cyclone made and we gotta get it up there. We gotta get a uh, blower mounted up there to draw out of it and spit out in a blower and just blow back that way. Uh, which I can start on two, I can actually put the uh, cyclone in and get it mounted right. Put a little hemorrhoid out the side of that uh, work area up there and set our blower on because uh, I'm going to have a suction tube that comes down into the blower to make the blower at the right height where you can manage it. Um, and, or you know uh, maintenance it and stuff and uh, then I could redo all my catwalk and stuff and get all that done to where it's down to burning them in their pipes so but that'll be a few weeks off we'll probably do other videos and stuff before that ever happens but uh, that's this project we'll call this the uh, hog project so we'll be covering it as we go this summer I'd say it'll take all summer we got about three or four projects running this summer but uh, <clears throat> That's how that one will go. Now we took our first break. We got the uh, piece up under there. Rick and Ball thing give her hell. Oh, you don't want to be in a picture. Hi! <laughs> God damn it. So yeah, he got hit in the head earlier. <laughs> but no, Zach and Derry, Derry got their electrics under down here, down here. We got the shit slide out of here. This son of a bitch basically said it sailed. The rest of us been sitting here watching it. Hey, I'm liking it. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? You won that bowl blue, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is a professional paint. How are we going to do that now? Paint blue? Damn, she looked good. You don't get tips every time. Bring it on. Damn, boys, it looks professional. It does actually look like we knew what we were doing. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I know I didn't cover it very well. Uh, we It was hotter than Billy Hammer Hell, and we was all wore down and... Uh, Hell, weren't none of us in good good mood for making a video. We just all focused, you know, into our, what we had to do. We put that slide over top of it to bypass it, so uh, we go ahead and run the mill there till we got our electrics put in. You know, this is kind of a spur moment thing. This thing, uh, we jumped into this about we had like one day of lead time. <laughs> so, uh, but it turned out pretty good. Uh, 
can't wait to get the and I got the slides ordered now and uh, to make proper slides and everything and we're gonna have to lengthen that other chain conveyor so uh, we got some of that mess going on but uh, this will be the part one and uh, we'll have a couple more parts to this everybody leave me likes and comments and you ain't subscribe hit the button thank you later